Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2022 ski test. I've got a K2 Mindbender 90C for you today. Uh, this ski remains the same for this year except for a graphics update. Uh, so still that same really light, really agile, quick, all mountain ski, 90 millimeters underfoot. Uh, this thing is gonna check a lot of boxes for a lot of skiers. Uh, anyone ranging from a low intermediate all the way up to a lighter weight expert is gonna find a lot to like about this ski. And we've just had a whole lot of successful reviews and testers on this over the past few years. And we look forward to that continuing into the future. Um, this one is built with an Aspen veneer wood core. Uh, gets two applications of carbon. One is a carbon boost, which is carbon stringers that run uh, vertically the length of the ski. And then the second and kind of the more innovative way is this carbon spectral braid. So by um, you know, cross hatching these carbon stringers, uh, you know, in an X shaped form, they're able to uh, better adjust the torsional stiffness of the ski. Um, so those X's are tight underfoot and then tight through the shovel of the ski and then a little bit looser through the back. So it's meant to mimic the Titanal Y beam in the Mindbender TI series skis. They just use carbon stringers in order to do it. So when you pick this up compared to the 90 Ti, it's quite a bit different in terms of weight. Um, so this is gonna be a quicker and a little bit more responsive ski. Not quite as stable, but uh, generally this skier isn't gonna need uh, the metal for stability that they would in the Ti versions of, of the ski. Um, so we do get a half cap, half sidewall construction. Uh, again, that kind of fits with the quickness and maneuverability of the ski. Uh, giving you strong edge grip underfoot and then lighter and easier to maneuver in the tips and tails. In the 177, this ski generates a 17.5 meter turn radius. So that's right down the middle, just what we're looking for in this type of all mountain ski. Really puts more emphasis on the skier and their desire to make a longer radius GS style turn or a shorter swing turn. Uh, we, you know, we're just huge fans of this ski, especially for around where we are in Vermont, where we just have a lot of tight trees, uh, you know, really icy bumps that you got to get quick edge to edge. Um, this ski makes a lot of sense for a lot of skiers around here, uh, East Coast um, or Western skiers who spend a lot of time on trail want something uh, quicker and more agile. But for here, you know, this is a, a fantastic tree ski uh, as well as in, in those tight bumps. We do get a good amount of positive camber underfoot. Uh, this ski is surprisingly energetic, not just for the carbon and the camber, uh, but overall. And then we do see a decent amount of camber in the, uh, sorry, rocker in the shovel of the ski. Pretty low to start and then rises uh, rather abruptly towards the very end. That's gonna give this a little bit better flotation than some other 90 millimeter underfoot skis. And then when that's combined with the, uh, with the light weight, uh, pretty decent little floater for, uh, for 90 millimeters underfoot. Uh, similarly in the tail, we got that rocker starting right about where uh, the, the vertical sidewall portion of the ski morphs into full cap. So that full cap tail is fully rockered back here, leading to you know pretty minimal splay. So you're gonna get, still get good edge grip to the end, uh, but more of a playful exit to the turn. Uh, due to the flexibility of the ski, that, la that wider stitching of that carbon braid uh, is going to give you, you know, more, or I'm sorry, less torsional stiffness and a little bit more playful of an exit to the turn. So that's kind of the theory behind that tail shape and profile there. Uh, but overall, just an extremely light maneuverable ski, but when you add that carbon into it, um, it's a pretty surprising amount of energy. So that's it. That is the K2 Mindbender 90C. Uh, check this thing out at skiessentials.com and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye.